Hello my horror loving dudes, I'm Killjoy Jake and today we have a Scream 6 update, specifically talking about the new runtime that was just announced, as well as a deleted post that is causing some suspicion. Let's get into it. Well, sometimes, that is better. So getting right into this, let's talk a little bit about this deleted post from earlier today. A post featuring a screenshot of Dermot Mulroney's character in the upcoming Scream film was posted today with the caption, get ready for your best friend's funeral, hashtag Scream 6. The official Scream account deleted that post and then reposted that same picture of Dermot Mulroney with a different caption this time saying, get ready for more funerals, detective. Once again though, hashtag Scream 6. So why was this first post deleted and then they kind of had to rework it and then put it back out again? I smell something fishy. The only big change from both captions was that we were talking about whoever Dermot Mulroney's best friend is and possibly them having a funeral. So naturally, my guess is that whoever Dermot Mulroney's best friend is in this movie, well, I think the guy's a goner. <laughs> Might be something to look out for when you're finally watching the movie on March 10th. Or if you live in the UK, apparently you can go and see it on March 8th, which makes Jake here pretty unhappy. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to fly out to the UK to see this puppy a couple days early. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Another thing I'll add to this is that Dermot Mulroney's Detective Bailey character has been pretty suspicious from the get-go. I mean, during an early interview with Dermot Mulroney talking about the upcoming Scream film, he kind of spilled the beans pretty early about how his daughter would become a victim to Ghostface, who is played by Liana Liberato. Kind of a weird way to phrase it, but could that be the best friend they're referencing here? Liana Liberato, his daughter. I mean, like, you know, I guess like a dad and a daughter could be best friends. Sure, why not? I've been suspecting from the get-go that Liana Liberato would be like a mid-movie kill, maybe our C.C. Cooper style kill, maybe like early second act kill, something along those lines. We get a cool chase scene and all that. I think that could be the case with her character. There is a part of me that wants to see Quinn Bailey, once again, Liana Liberato's character, become the killer in this movie because I just think it would be interesting. And she also wasn't featured all that much in the trailer. She's also a cop's daughter, which would be a total betrayal if she became a killer, just going against her father like that. As much as I would like that though, I'm definitely pinning her as a death in this film. That's just my guess. But now let's talk a little bit about the runtime for Scream 6, which was recently announced by Regal Cinemas to be two hours and three minutes long, the absolute longest film in the Scream franchise to date. Screams 1 and 4 were one hour and 51 minutes, Scream 2 was exactly two hours, and Screams 3 and 5 were one hour and 54 minutes. Kinda weird that you have multiple movies in this franchise that have the same runtime. Like, what are the odds of that? That's pretty crazy to me. This is really exciting news to be getting a longer Scream film like this. I mean, it's only three minutes longer than the longest Scream film to date, which was Scream 2 before, but like still, I think it's this is a big deal. A small complaint I have about Scream 5 is I wish the film was like 10 minutes longer so they could develop some of the other side characters a little more. That felt very underdeveloped and I almost didn't even care when they died. Like take Liv McKenzie, for instance. If her death wasn't so powerful because it was literally during a reveal of one of the killers, she would have been kind of forgettable to me. They randomly tried to make her a red herring right at the end too. I don't know, I just wasn't huge on it. 10 more minutes of that movie featuring a couple more scenes with these side characters and maybe I would have cared a little more when they died. <laughs> is, that, is that an awful thing to say? Probably. These are movie characters though, so I don't feel that bad. I hope that a longer runtime will also make the film feel a little more epic. It seems like from the shrine of Ghostface that we truly are dealing with something a little different this time around than your typical Ghostface. At least I hope so. They've been kind of promising us that in like every single screen movie and like sometimes they deliver on that but not all the time so i'm really hoping that old cracked face here is one of the most badass ghost faces of all time there was one other thing announced from regal about scream 6 and that's that the film will be released in 3d a first for the franchise and a pretty surprising announcement i personally can't really do 3d movies i saw like avatar when that came out when i was a kid and i was just not having a good time it felt like there was bees buzzing around in my brain that whole movie and i guess that's maybe why i don't have the best memory of it <laughs> wasps in your brain are never really a good thing. Not from my experience, at least. But if that's something that interests you, ooh. 3D Scream movie. There you go. Something, something there. I like it. This 3D fan event will be on Thursday, March 9th, a day before the movie releases with select theaters offering a premium 40X format. Tickets should be going on sale just about any day now. So as of right now, I just checked my Cinemark app and I don't think that you can buy tickets yet because I'm clicking on this thing like a hundred times and like it's just not working. Come on! But I'm sure they're going to be on sale soon, so get them while you can because I'm sure the moment those puppies go on sale, those early night screenings, those the, like first Thursday night or whatever, those are 
are gonna go pretty fast, so make sure to get them. And to my friends across the pond, don't be spoiling the movie yet, because y'all get to see it a day early. Like I said earlier, I'm very jealous. <laughs> so what do y'all think about all this Scream news? Do you think there could be some kind of suspicion surrounding Dermot Mulroney's cop character? And are you excited for this 3D event as well as a longer runtime? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this brand new Scream 6 update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content in the future. Sometimes I even talk about flamingos and how they produce milk for their young. Did you know that's a thing? Because I just learned that recently. Make sure to support me on Patreon by clicking that link in the description below. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.